Hey guys, Matt Jones in uh, Seoul. It's the 2nd of March, which makes it the 61st day of what I'm calling 100 Days to Harvest, exploring this narrative of friendship between Australia and Korea. And um, I've just uh, finalised a submission for the new white paper, which is being drafted at the moment by the federal government uh, looking at foreign affairs. It's just an interesting point to pause on and reflect that, um, you know, I, I, I just think back to when I sort of started this 100 Days to Harvest. Some of the earlier posts, maybe I was uh, a little bit, um, uh, you know, not, not, not too harsh, but, but um, maybe uh, uh, overly critical of some of the things that have taken place in the past, and that's uh, that's that's a, that's my reflection. Um, so you know, I own that, but um, it doesn't mean that's how things are forever. And uh, you know, the good thing about um, drafting new policy is that things can change, and. I think that um, this is a great opportunity to take what has been a changing circumstance over the last couple of years in particular and take many things about this friendship between Australia and Korea to a, into, a, into, a, into, a, into a new level. So, you know, I'm pretty optimistic about the outcome of the white paper. Obviously, you know, I don't know how much, if any, influence I'll have over that. But uh, it'll be interesting to see what, what comes. So, uh, you know, things change. Um, historical stories of what happened in the past uh, don't define the present or the future, necessarily. And um, I think we should take the same approach to the friendship between Australia and Korea. There's uh, a new era, a next chapter of this friendship ahead and uh, see where it goes. Hope you're having a great night.